Hey Warriors, I wanted to speak to you today and encourage you with the word of the Lord and prepare your hearts for our scheduled Monday manna at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I want to tell you that in these last few days, I have really been seeking the Father's heart and staying focused in the quiet of his presence. And I want you guys to remember when the Lord spoke to me probably four months back, and he said that we are going to do a quantum leap from the quiet place, from the stillness of his presence. A quantum leap is a huge advancement. So it is literally a gr advancing and increasing suddenly in a great way, the, a quantum leap. And so I want to tell you that with everything that's been going on in our lives and since 2020 and where we are right now in the month of June of 2021, there's been so much that the Lord has been doing within each of us preparing us for this incredible quantum leap. I believe that word about taking a quantum leap from the quiet place is also connected to the super bloom that is breaking forth out of our wilderness. And this is just incredible uh, how the Lord is putting so many pieces together, showing us the big picture and how he is absolutely going to blow our minds in the way that He's going to move mighty and how he's storming in to take hold of the enemy, to crush the head of the enemy uh, that has been interfering with his plans and his agenda. And so this is just an incredible time. So what I want to tell you, uh, the word that the Lord gave me a few days ago was retribution. I remember sitting down and I was just being still in the Father's presence and literally the word retribution in all capital letters was placed in front of me. And the Lord often does this with me. I think it's uh, really amazing in our relationship that how he communicates with me. He will literally put one word in front of me in all capital letters and how he is, you know, roaring that's the the word that he is roaring from his throne room. And so the word retribution that has several meanings, but one of them that stood out more than anything was the word vengeance. And so we know that the Lord says that we are not to take vengeance on our own enemy, that revenge is not the righteous way. But the Lord says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord, that I will deal with your enemy. I have a perfect way and a perfect masterful plan in how I will take down the enemy and bringing revival, bringing true salvation. And so the Lord has a perfect way of dealing with our enemies. And I'm going to be really breaking that down in our Monday night manna. Uh, we have it scheduled every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for those who may be viewing this video right now. And um, But I want to tell you that, you know, when the Lord speaks, he always has a foundational scripture to stand on. And the scripture that the Lord gave me, and this is so exciting, is Isaiah 63, verse 4. And Isaiah 63, verse 4 says... For the day of vengeance is in my heart, says the Lord, and the year of my redeemed has come. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, says the Lord, and the year of my redeemed has come. Now, I want to tell you, I'm going to be doing a powerful prophetic teaching on this foundational scripture from the Father to his remnant. It is mighty. It is powerful. 
And I cannot wait to see you all there. Again, the word that God put before me is the word retribution. And boy, is the enemy going to suffer a mighty blow from the Spirit of God, from the Ruach of the Holy Spirit. And I also want to tell you that another word that the Lord spoke in my ear is the word poetic justice. So the Lord said today he spoke to me and he said, it will be poetic justice. And I looked up the word poetic justice. I remember when a movie came out called Poetic Justice with Janet Jackson and I think Tupac. Um, This was in 1993. But as I looked up the definition of poetic justice, it was really powerful. And it was stating that to for the virtuous, the virtuous would be rewarded, but the vicious would basically suffer and fall at their own demise. And it gave an example. And then the Lord gave me an example. For instance, so say for instance, there is a criminal and they're in the court of law and they have a defense attorney and then the prosecutor does the prosecuting attorney doesn't have a good case and so that criminal gets off scot free or gets a little slap on the hand and justice is not served from the court of law so basically the the justice that ends up happening is where that criminal ends up out of nowhere, um, getting a terminal illness and, and dies suddenly or something happens. And so it's known as poetic justice. It means something that happens naturally that didn't happen in the court of law where justice wasn't served. So it's not about a, a virtuous person taking vengeance on the enemy. No, it is the the virtuous one, the righteous one that gets rewarded, the blessings and the favor come upon them in the midst of their suffering and what they've had to go through because of that criminal. But that criminal that thinks they got away scot-free and nothing's happening to them, all of a sudden, boom, there is, you know, a sudden death or a, a sudden Um, unbelievable suffering that they go through. And so I want to tell you that what the Lord is saying right now, when he said to me today, I am going to release poetic justice. He's saying that where justice was not served in the court of law, like in our nation or other nations in the world, he says, but in my courtroom, justice is going to be carried out and this is how I'm going to do it. And it's a way that is going to be absolutely amazing to where we are going to see the hand of the Lord. So all those who thought they could get away with their crime and their vicious acts, their brutal acts um, that were vicious and violent and that they did not, they, um, they did not um, receive um, uh, what they deserved, meaning that uh, justice was not carried out. Um, for victims. Justice was not carried out for um, the families of those victims or um, whatever the case may be. So we're going to break this down Monday. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share this with all of you. Again, um, the word of the Lord is retribution and poetic justice. And the foundational scripture that we're going to dive into on Monday is Isaiah chapter 63, verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, says the Lord, and the year of my redeemed has come. I look forward to seeing all of you awesome warriors with me Monday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Spread the word, get other loved ones, prayer warriors, family members to come and join me as we just dive in and celebrate this word of the Lord that he's roaring right now over the remnant. And it is exciting. It is absolutely connected to the super bloom that is going to happen from the upper room through the throne room of the Lord. Christ Jesus is where we stand on a solid foundation and healing and restoration is our portion. 
and we shall stand and see the salvation of the Lord in the land of the living. For the Spirit of God is getting ready to lift a huge standard against the enemy, and it is carrying out his vengeance and giving us great victory. I love you. I can't wait for Monday night. God bless you guys.